In this tutorial, I will show you exactly how to use Pixpa to build your website to showcase your work. So how you can create a portfolio website using Pixpa. I'll also show you how you can connect your own custom domain and basically just how you can do everything within Pixpa. So first of all, if you want to get started with Pixpa and claim a 15 day free trial, without the need to add any credit card details, then click on the link down in the description and from here click on get started for free. That will take you right here. Now from here, simply continue with Google, Apple, Facebook or email. Then after you do that, from here you can pick a template to get started with building out your website. So you have all the templates here, then you have the popular ones showcased here. Now usually the popular ones are the best ones, but what I recommend you to do is just to search for the industry that you're in, for example, fashion, then you can click fashion there. Or if you're in creative, for example, design, then you can click design. If it's graphic and web, you can click on that, etc. Now you can also build a blogging website or for weddings, whatever you want to build your website for. It can even be a business and services website. But for this example, since it's the most popular option, I'll just go with photography and I'll select this one right here called color. Now you can also click view template if you just want to see what it looks like. I'll just click start with color right there. Now from here, you can choose a color palette for your website. So if you click on this drop down, you can select if you want it to be light, dark or bold. For example, if I go with bold, I can click on this one and then you will have a preview of what it looks like right here. Now I don't like this one that much, so I'll just find one that I think looks good. So for example, I'll go with the warm palette right here. You can find it under light if you want it to. But from here, just going to click on continue. And then next, you can choose the fonts of your website. So you have the template fonts, which is standard and that differs per template. But here again, you can choose what kind of a font you want. For example, if I click enter right here, then the font on my website will change to that one. Now I kind of like this one, so I'll select enter and click on finish. So now we have created our template and you can actually start using it. Now here you will see they already create a link to your website for you, but you can also connect your own custom link later and I'll show you how you can do that. So first, what you want to go and do is here click, if you want to do this, of course, build your website and then click edit website. Now from here, you will get to the website editor and you will see all of the pages that they have here. Now you have, for example, a book a session page. If you don't want to have that page where people can book a session, then simply click on the three dots here and click delete and then click delete again. And now the book a session page will be deleted from your website. Now, for example, I also don't need a blog, so I will also delete the blog right here. I also won't need an investment page, so I'll delete that one too. So then I just have the home page, my portfolio and an about page. Now you'll see portfolio if you click on it. I have different galleries and for example, gallery one right here is for example, from one photo shoot. So this is a wedding right here. Now, if you want to change the amount of galleries you have and you just want to start with one, for example, then you can simply delete the other ones here. And if you want to add one, then just click on add menu item to folder. And then here you can create a new page, a new gallery, a new link, a new blog, or you can import a page. If you want to create a new page for your portfolio, then click on gallery, then give it a gallery. For example, photo shoot. 18th of September then click continue and then from here you can add in media so to add the media click on add media in the top right then choose images video or a text slide I'll go with images and then here you can browse and upload them or import them from your gallery I'll just upload them so for example I've just uploaded a few of my thumbnails right here so then I can click close right there and now you will see those right here so they will then be in this photo shoot now, if you click image info, you can add keywords and alt tags to the image and a description as well. And basically the keywords and alt tags will help with SEO. So I recommend doing that everywhere here. For example, if it's a wedding shoot in Denver, then you want to add wedding shoot Denver. And then when people search for that on Google, then they will have a higher likelihood of finding your images and your website. Now in the settings page right here, you can set the visibility to visible, hidden or unpublished. You can add a watermark to your images. To do this, click manage watermarks and then you can upload one. You can password protect this page if you want to do that. You can show the pre-footer below this page 
And you can also choose to sell your images with photo moto. So if you click on that, then you will be able to set a price to sell your images. Now here you can also add tags to this gallery and you can choose to add a social media images, which is then used to represent this page in social media sharing and folder listing pages. Now you also have the additional information. Then next up here, you have the design. So you can either choose to use gallery side wide options or style this gallery differently. So you have the layout right here and I'll just keep it like that, but you can change it from there. Then in the SEO page here, for example, this one's called photo shoot 18th September. Now the SEO title, this would not be that good for SEO because nobody is searching for this. You just want to have a title that people may actually be searching for. For example, clothing brand photo shoot or ring photo shoot, whatever you are doing. Then in the SEO description, just write it out in some more detail. So after you're done, you can click on view right there and then you will get a preview of this page and you will see what it looks like right here. Now you can also go to the mobile version. If you think that many people will be on mobile, then you should focus on the mobile view, but you will see it's just a very basic portfolio website. And I think that's perfect for just showcasing your work. And if people click on it, they will have a better view of it. And if you added a description to it, then they can also see that. And people can share it from within here. So they will get a link and they can then share it on social media, for example, or you can do it yourself. And it's just very easy to use. Now here you will also see the previous and next buttons. So that will take them to other galleries on your website. For example, this one right here was already in the template, but that makes it very easy to just look at your entire portfolio. And if they click on the middle button here, they can see all of them right here. Now in the about section, if you want to go and edit that, then first of all, you can see what it looks like right here. So it looks pretty nice. You have FAQs and stuff like that. And in order to start editing it, just click close in the top right. Then here, click on save if you're done with this page. And then here you can simply go back to the main page right here, then just click on the page you want to edit next, for example, the about page. And if you want to switch an image, you can just click on it. Then in the top right, click on edit section right there. Now here you can choose how you want it to look, for example, the height, the width. But if you want to change this image, for example, just click on the section it's in. Then in the top right, what you want to do is click on edit headline. Then here you will see the primary image. You can simply delete this one and then go and upload one of your own. And then once you click save, it will then show that image right there. And right here, you can also change the title here and the description. And here you have a button and link. And you have, in this case, a contact me button. So when people click on that, I'll show you right here. If they click contact me, then here you will see for now it says we couldn't find the page you are looking for. So then what you want to do is just go back to the editor right here. So click close. Then here, click on the contact me. So it's in this section. Then here, click on edit headline. Then here, when you scroll down, you will see the button right here. Now click on the edit icon. Then here you can see where it takes them. So it takes them to contact. Now, if you want them to just email you, for example, then what you can do is click on the button link right here on the gear icon. And then here, choose an external link, mail to or phone. Then here in the to section, just enter your email address. And then once I click contact me, it will automatically have a link to send an email to your email address. Now you can also do your phone number if you prefer that. Now if you want to add any pages to your website, that's very easy. Just click add menu item to folder, then select a page here and then give the page a name. So for example, if I want to have a page where people can see my location, so maybe where your business is located, if you have a physical location, then here you will have a bunch of templates. So you have general pages right here. So just find one that best suits with what you want to create a page for. For example, payment and donation forms. Right? So here people can, for example, donate money to you if you want to do that. You can create a privacy policy page, a contact page right here, or even a team page if you want to show who is in your team. So they probably won't have a location page. So then in that case, just select a blank page and then you can build it from scratch. But in this case, I'll actually go with a team page. So for example, if you have a lot of team members, then you may want to go with one of these where it showcases them pretty small. But if you have only a few, then you could go with one of these pages where everyone has a pretty big part of the page. So I'll just go with this one, for example. Then here you will see the page. Now you can click edit teams in the top right. 
And now here you can actually add your team. So you have items here. So those are basically your team members. So just click on them. Then here you can upload an image. You can enter their name and what they do at the business. For example, this is founder. Then here enter a description. And then you can also add a button. For example, if you want someone to be able to contact you, then you can click button right there. Then for the button link, you can say mail to and then enter the email address. And then people can send an email to that person. So that makes it very easy for the viewer to contact whoever they need to contact. Now that we know how you can actually design your website, I'll get more into the back end. So first of all, how you can connect your domain. To do this, click settings right here. And then from here in the left menu under settings, you will see domain name. So click on that. Now here, click on connect custom domain. Now for this, I would need to upgrade my plan. And you can see the trial here ends on the 3rd of October. So you have a 15 day free trial. But if you want to connect a custom domain, you need to start your subscription. So the trial is best for just building your website. And then if you want to actually add your custom domain, then you can click here on start subscription. Now, if you want to cancel your Pixpass subscription at any time, just click here on cancel and then you won't be billed anymore. Now from here, you will see some more stuff such as invoices, contributors, website setup service. You can see your email notifications, form notifications. So if there's anything here that you need, such as the integrations with other platforms, then you can do that right here. For example, you can connect your Instagram account or Google Analytics. You can sell images using Photomodo. So for that, you will need to have your ID right there. But it's all pretty straightforward. Now, if you want to have multiple sites and in the top left, you can click my sites. Now you are working on this one right now, but you can click add new website right there to add other ones. And they also have an app store where you can also integrate with some apps. For example, YouTube, Vimeo, Google Sheets, PayPal, Stripe, and more. So some of them will be for collecting payments. Some of them will be for pop-ups. So you can see if there's anything here that you will need and then you can add those as well. Now you can also set up client galleries if you want right here. So then you can create an album. You can also create a blog and a store through Pixba. And they just have a bunch of things that you can do such as selling products, selling images, and the products can be digital or physical. And they have some added automatically. I recommend just removing these since you're probably not actually selling those. So you just click on the three dots and delete all of those, or you can also deactivate them. But if you do want to sell products, then you can do that from here. Now you can also set up shipping, taxes, discounts, and more from here. So now you know how to use Pixba. If this tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And again, if you want to claim the 15 day free trial without adding any payment details to Pixpa, then go and click on the link down in the description to get started for free. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.